Hi everyone. Hello. So I am um, starting a minute early, so I would get on here first just to make sure I didn't miss anybody. So waiting for you all to come on here. If you are watching this as a replay, you could probably skip the first two minutes maybe as things are heating up. Okay, we've got some people on already. Hi, everyone. Make sure you say hello in your chat. So um, I had to turn everything around. So normally I'm facing, normally you are facing that wall back there where my um, shelves used to be. With everything turned around, that wall is just that solid white right now. So if you've been keeping up, hi, if you've been keeping up, um, you will know I just did an update, I think yesterday, but so much changes. It's changes so fast. Hi everyone. Hi Montreal, hi. So it, my room changes so fast, the situation changes so fast that I decided I might as well go ahead and do the live tonight about this, about this mess in this craft room and what's happening and to um, make it as alive and get you in on it. Hi, hi Debbie. And so, yeah, got to see you. Hi, Karen. Very first one on there. I need to get my glasses on to see Karen. Hi. Um, hi, Carol. And so, we're yeah, we're doing this one live this time. So I have this little tripod thing set up here so that, and you can see the reflection of my glasses. Hi, Patty. Um, so then I will take it down and yeah, I'll take it down when we get ready. And then I will turn the uh, camera around the other way. Hi, Melissa and Katrina. Katrine, I will turn the camera around or the, uh, the way it's focused and then you can see what's new in the craft room now. Hi, Sylvia. So it's been quite a journey. I tell you, when I first started this and I, I knew it was gonna be a lot of work and I, I look back now and I just can't believe how far I've come. Um, well, this is driving me crazy. Anyway, I see how far this has come and I'm just so surprised and happy because this is, I just love this. It's just, it's me and it, I just feel like, uh, it feels like home, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's just give it a minute or two and then we will take the camera off of this tripod. So in the meantime, how have you been doing? You know, I, I kind of debated about even doing a live and frankly, it was like, I need to hear how everyone's doing. Hi, oh, there you go. Nice, from New Zealand, or Aussie New Zealand said, or NZ. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Are you holding up, are you crafting? You know, what are you doing to keep busy? Because I have discovered that, you know, I have a routine going on right now. Hi Ruth, those of you who are watching this months from now or years from now might not know that we're going through this quarantine thing kind of worldwide. And so I've been developing a routine. I've been walking every day, even today before it starts snowing. Yes, it's snow today. Yesterday was 70 and sunny, today snowy. Oh, hi, oh, I see you are living in Austria, great. Um, so I also, I work on the craft room every day. I do something uh, to clean and reorganize. And I also want to do something to kind of make it pretty too. So. I, I get kind of, um, it, it, if you just clean, 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 it gets really old and really worn down and you just feel like you're not seeing, um, it's not looking improved, I guess is the one I'm looking for. So um, I did get the Ikea order in. Today is the second. I got it in yesterday. Uh, it went really well. You've been organizing it. Oh, that's great. Great, Carol. And, you know, and this is what I'm glad that we inspire each other. What happened actually is Lori Nunemaker was redoing her craft area and um, I just got inspired to do it, you know, and, and it would be nothing like what she did. I mean, just the fact that she did it and I thought I really need to do that. And the mess was, um, I could still come down here and get creative, but I felt like the mess and the clutter and the too much stuff, I felt like it was kind of getting me, uh, kind of getting me down. So I am really happy with what I've done. So I am going to start moving a little bit to get this. I'm sorry, this is gonna be a little awkward here. You could start my Minnie Mouse shirt for a second. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna turn that light off. Okay. 
Alrighty, and we're gonna turn this around. E. Okay, there we go. Now we're turned around. I gotta pick something up and get this tripod put away here. Alrighty. That's the back, that's the back way there. Okay, so this is the area that I am working on. As you can see, I, I turned around, I showed, I, I'm gonna spin around. You can see how dark it is back here. Um, got things hanging up there but that's what's behind me this is the actual craft room that I'm working on that is actually painted so let's go over here and I've let me scooch this chair in okay alrighty we gotta get our Mickey pointer here Woo, there it is you see my new um, screensaver <clears throat> wallpaper okay Excuse me, <clears throat> it is so dry here and the heater's going. So I showed last time that I had redone this cabinet and this cabinet was yellow and I spray painted the whole thing white, <laughs> yeah. And I put the washi tape up there after that and got two of my birthday cards, one's a llama and one's a shaker. Got two of those put up there, started putting some of my mugs up here. I've got my, uh, my icon, my, what do you call it? My logo there. A llama mug there and a llama mug there. I have a couple more that I can put on there. I just haven't done it yet. I used adhesive vinyl to make these letters create. To put that on the wall. Okay. And then you can see here too, I have the llama picture there. And I got that from Hobby Lobby, not even knowing where I was going to put it. We'll get a close up of that pretty soon. So also since the last video, I have put more items on the shelves and I started labeling. So I got the Joy, the Cricut Joy, and I started making labels. And you could see them right there. I really like the font. It was fun and easy to do, but what I think I want to do next time is I want to figure out how to get like a black line border around, the, just on the inside of the cut line there. I think it'll make it pop more. I'm still going to redo this box. This is all yellowed and faded. Redo that one. I've got cardstock here. So that this one says it's beads. This, yes folks, this huge thing is full of sequins. Not kidding. And then these are uh, maybe like containers to put your shakers in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and sequins, I don't know, it's like sequin trim. Hi Tracy. This has always been this way. I marked the pearl pigments, but these are all, this used to have inks in them. I just took them out. Uh, these are my embossing powders. You have filled with yarn. I have too much yarn for those. <laughs> this is my letter writing, like cards and things like that. I got these three baskets. There's one there, this one, and this one. I got those. I ordered them on Amazon. Love them. I'm still going to make labels, and I think what I'll do, hi, Terry. I think what I'm going to do is make the labels and put them maybe on cardstock with eyelets and then I can like attach them through this mesh there. And what I'm doing is I ordered, also ordered some plain white boxes and I'm using the rest of my room paint to paint them. So you'll notice that, for instance, this box is between the lavender and the turquoise shelves, so I painted it pink. So it's weird, I know. <laughs> But I still have more labels to do. It's just when I first played around that, that one day I was getting everything figured out. So um, this is like memory deck supplies. I got my foiling here. Uh, this, I think this is jewelry making and pendants right here. I just don't have it labeled yet. Coming back up here, I already have stuff on the top. And there's my LPZ. For those of you who don't know, LPZ is how I abbreviate Lollipalooza. Hi, Carrie. There's a create sign that I made a long time ago. I'm coming back down here. Now, uh, where'd it go? I made something. Oh, I know. I'll, I'll get it. It was drying. I made something to sit on the shelf right in front of this basket. And this has a lot of um, uh, fountain pens and inks and things like that in it. This used to be sitting on my table right behind me here, and I moved that over. I've got my mini, what was it called, mini evolution advance, and cardstock at the bottom. I don't remember what's in this box because since I'm redoing things, I, I have to look again in there and in this one to see um, how to label them. This had a, I can't remember what color the lid was, I just spray painted it and there's nothing in it yet, 
my gelatos foil and that foil what's that called fuse the fuse I was bored one day and I needed all my paint brushes were taking a, they weren't fitting in what they were in so I just you know you're stuck at home uh, in the quarantine so I went ahead and spray painted a can I thought that is such old school crafting to spray paint a can but I did it and I, I just thought these trims look kind of llama ish speaking of which this is my baby <laughs> and a little sequin glitter true love got my buttons and this is a spice rack that I got from a garage sale 31 baskets here have so this is like uh, markers colored pencils etc this is kind of a bit of everything has my baker's twine now I'm got to sneak over here this is gonna get really close you saw this when I made this for one of my videos sorry about that okay and I did this for a video too I believe I have a couple of my bears on top there and my stuffed animals the word hope. I'm sure I'm going to have to put boxes up there, but for now, we're doing okay. Okay, now this is really close to where I sit. Now you can see the table right here where I craft. So you can see this is within arm's reach right there. I've got all my accessories for the Cricut Joy, except for the vinyl, printable vinyl, because that is what I'm going, I'm using, and I'm going to use it again real soon. This is the Joy right there. Hi! Hi Sherry, and smile is the new color. And then there's my charm box. I also, um, I have all, I have uh, hole punches in these two drawers. I just haven't labeled them yet. Other tools like uh, staples and, oh, what do you call them? Uh, crocodiles, things like that. And the floor is kind of gross because I'm still working. I still have paint cans, paint brushes, etc. And the assembly line for these. So they finally came. So yesterday um, they came. The Let's put this here. And you can see they slide so well. I love them. We haven't done anything to put anything in them yet. So my usual moderator, um, the legendary mermaid she and i worked together last night we put this first one together it took us 70 minutes and so now we've got it down pat and we got this one done in 36 minutes so we're we're getting really fast so there will be five of these three here then a space and then two more this will be moved over there and then there will be a countertop all across the top. I, I know, Ruth. I was like, I really needed something colorful and cheerful back here because this big old white space back here was pretty, uh, pretty um, boring. So right now these are up against the bare concrete. But my husband, well, not quite up against. There's a good inch there. Uh, and so... My husband wants to build a wall. He said that will be five inches out, which means this will be like another four inches from here. Not much room. I'll still be able to open the drawers all the way. You know, probably won't be able to stand right in here to do it, you know, but I can do it from the side. So, and then I have my uh, my mats for the Cricut and the Cameo. Paper towels. My llama. That's my diamond dots. Oh, and I have... The light up there if I need the uh, oh, what do you call those hot lights okay and then down we go so now this is where I sit to craft I will switch back to my pink craft mat excuse this noise here I'm moving things on the floor this is what I'm working on now I am working on craft text flowers these are cut with uh, flower dies they're fun and this was a plain wooden sign that I got from Hobby Lobby and I was just letting it dry and this is what is going to go on the shelf. Yes, I did make a charm for the huge paper clip. There it is right there. My jumbo paper clip. When I bought that, I knew I was going to use it somehow, but I didn't know how. So this is going to go right here on the shelf in front of that black. I think that's going to really make that stand out. Now I'll go back where I was. Sorry, I hope you don't get dizzy. Close your eyes for a sec. Okay. So now I switched back to my pink craft mat, and I think it really makes the craft room pop. So I'm going to step back, and how it just, it just goes with the room so much better. So there's that. I have my little waste paper basket right there. Okay. And right now my craft mat is shoved all the way to the very edge of the table, which I don't like. 
I like to have um, some of my supplies on the end, but because of moving all of the tables around to, you know, adjust for the room, <laughs> to adjust for the room, uh, I am, this is no longer right under my uh, videotaping arm if I put it where I want it in the middle of the table. So I have to have it over here when the room is completely done and we're happy with it. Then um, I will ask my husband to move the video recording arm a little bit this way so I can slide this over. So here's what I'm talking about. So I have like this carousel that has my scissors, etc. But some of these little bins with things that I use all the time, I like to have those on the other side. Like it's got my um, my bone folders, things like that. Thank you. Um, you know, some of the things, like here's the bone folders here. I like them on the other side. Some of these little things that they're they're like silicone. They hang off the edge of the table. And this is a ranger, I believe, that clips onto the table. So that's really helpful. Anyway, so that I still have a lot of space because this is 35 inch mat. Um, it says it's 36 in, I got it on Amazon, says it's 36 by... Um, 24 but it's 20. okay it I don't know why it disconnected but anyway let's turn that around again <laughs> there we go it just disconnected in the middle of the video so anyway I hope that doesn't happen again so I do have a lot of space here because you can see it's a really big table so I can still have a lot of things here and and work with so I slide over and I have this table back again it's got my uh, ephemera and embellish well, embellishment uh, bag. It's got my three tape runners and my uh, Cutter Pillar Pro cutting thing, which I really love. So now to back up. So that's the view there. It's very bright and cheery. Now I'm going to come back around here. Sorry about the uh, fluorescent lights. They are really bright. So what I did with my big black craft man, I stuck it over here. I still do projects here sometimes when I'm working on the computer. This is where I uh, edit videos. This is, what do you call that? Um, oh, the, the light for the morning, you know, so you can get some, some bright light. And there's more smart label stuff. Anyway, so that is where I am right now with this. Really happy. I love that this even has a lot of space here because sometimes... I, I take something off the shelf and I sit it down here so I can rummage through it and then put it back on the shelf. So everything is right within within reach. When I'm all done, when the room is all done, there is a possibility. We'll have to see because it would cost like another seven eight hundred dollars that I could get more of these, um, and I could put. So it would be like this. It would be. It would be one here and one there with a counter between it or a desktop. So I would have two of those Alex units with a desktop, two of them over there with a desktop, and then two of them this way with a desktop. And that would be the exact same size as these two big tables right here. So it would be six Alex units with desktops. And the fun thing about that is that more people you know, can sit around the table and craft, and there'd be drawers underneath with, with uh, there's some space under here, but it's not really, you know, too great because the legs and the braces really interfere with putting things under there. The other thing I have here is just propped up my folding stool because I have to get things from the top of the, of the shelves. But other than that, um, it's very bright and perky. I'm really happy with how it's turned out, and I just think that, um, it's just kind of soothing to come down here now. There you go. Any questions? Oh, here now you can see the boss thing better. So I painted it white, and this is also the wall paint pink. And I took some a silver pen and edged it right there all along the edge. And then I just glued some rhinestones. There you, you have the same table in your laundry room. Cool. So I thought about putting rhinestones all over the letters, but right now I'm just happy with that. Thanks so much, Debbie. I just wanted to update everyone, but kind of do it all right now and alive and see how you all are doing. I mean, you know what I'm doing to keep busy, but what are you doing to keep busy? <laughs> yes, it would add a lot of storage if I could do that. Like I said, I'm not opposed to it. Um, I just wanted to wait and, and get the wall and everything, get all this finished 
Um, because now, even as soon as I get the rest of these put up, because I have five of those, you know, I have three more to do of the Alex units. Even then, um, I'll be able to, st I'm going to load them up. And then, um, then I can get rid of, you know, the stuff that there's still a lot on my floor uh, that I had just to pull it out of my craft room. Like, okay, naughty lolly. See what I mean? There's just stuff on the floor that I had to slide out of the way and I need to pull it back in. So, oh, thank you yeah, for the mouse pad. I ordered it when I ordered my, um, my business cards. So I'm trying to slow down now. Uh, I know you technically can stack the Alex units. They say on there not to, but that's their warning. They have to say that because they're afraid if they fall over, you could sue them. But you really could stack them, and they are sturdy enough. You know, I, I don't think it would really be a problem. But the reason I'm not going to stack them is that, like I said, I'm going to put a big, long counter on top of um, a custom counter I'm going to have made at, at uh, Home Depot. It's going to go all the way across there. And then up here, this is going to be painted with color and I'm going to get an um, Ikea cabinets, two there and one over here or one on each side. And then maybe a I'm thinking of a pegboard. A lot of people have suggested pegboards and I think that the idea is growing on me. The possibility, too, of putting a pegboard down here. I don't know. Um, so I, all I know is we're going to get cabinets up there and on the other end way over there after we get the dry well put up so who knows when that'll be yeah it's a little mickey and i people ask where i got this pointer and it was at a uh, dollar tree they have a um they have a teacher section with teachers award stickers and things so ikea has pegboards you know i need to look at that i really haven't studied that so much so that's what i was thinking so i think a pegboard would be kind of cool one of the things that um, Lori Nunemaker had suggested, and I love it, I wasn't sure. I knew I wanted to get some of the color in here that's behind me. You know those stripes, the pink, lavender, and turquoise stripes, which we're slowly panning over to? Um, she suggested utilizing those stripes, and instead of just painting them on this far wall on the left, would be to do a large canvas, and that way... Um, the large canvas that way I'm not what she called married to it which makes total sense because then I could change it up if I didn't like the design I could say lollipalooza so um, the little baby peeps um, every year at Target and they have them now again Target has these theirs had a little like um, a hook on it like for a keychain or a, to hang on a, a backpack this one was a gift. This one was a gift. And I just bought this one at Target when we went there to get uh, tissues and we tried to get rubbing alcohol and they were out. But it was we were we weren't trying to just um, shop and look all over the store. It was on our way back to the cash registers from buying tissues. And there he was. So um, I also have ordered these on actually the Peeps website. Um, they have like five, four, uh, they used to have a bundle where you got five and there was one of each color and I have given them away in giveaways before. And also while I was at Target, I picked up a couple of the ones that have the hooks on them, um, to do the giveaways with. So, and I just love this little bow that he came with. I thought he was pretty cute. Well, I mean, he didn't come with it, but, um, it was given to me that way. I thought I had a blue one. Maybe not. I mean, I know I, I, my daughter has one. I got her one. But anyway, I just thought the colors were really Eastery and kind of went with the craft room right now. There we go. So that's where we are right now. So ooh, the next, um, yeah, they do look at home. <laughs> the next uh, video will obviously have all of these cabinets made. Now we won't be able to do a counter because again, that's Home Depot, the counter and the walls. So I'm thinking, um, and I can still use the tops like this. I mean, you can still use the tops. I don't want them to get scratched up, but I could still put things gently on the top. I could still do that and still put my, my um, digital cutting machines on here. What I'm thinking in the meantime would be to run a, a long extension cord, maybe over the ceiling and then down. So I would have a power strip back here. And I think the power strip would it would be enable me to use my digital cutting machines back here. I know there's no light back here, um, you know, its own light. Because when I stand here, I'm I'm creating a shadow. Like right now, you can see my shadow. 
but I can put one of my battery operated lights here as needed or plug in the hot light or whatever I need. So it's a temporary fix. We'll be okay and we will be able to uh, do the countertop and the wall and then really get that would be really pretty. At that point, when I get everything put back in here, I think my first responsibility is going to be not just to get everything back in, but hopefully by then the quarantine will be lifted and I will be able to finish donating and giving away the items that I need to get rid of right now. So um, I have done one uh, giveaway and I have delivered a whole car full of stuff to the craft supply store. Ikea has lights to hang with a cord that plugs into wall socket. Yeah, Ikea's got a lot of stuff. I do plan on going to Ikea when uh, when this is over because <laughs> I have things I want to get. For instance, the, the wall cabinets are going to need... Let me work my way around here. The wall cabinets are going to need uh, doorknobs. And I'm thinking about possibly some... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, like drawer dividers or things to organize the insides of the drawers. I'm going to slide back over to my chair over here. Yep. So those are just some of the ideas, but hope you're not getting dizzy. I'm walking very slowly, but I know to you it's probably very fast. I think what happened last time when it paused the live video is because I had accidentally pushed a button. There we go. Now I can maybe get this kind of stable here. I'm going to spin you back around. There we go. Here I am. So, yeah, so, so many possibilities. But uh, my first priority, once I get everything in here that I know I want in here, is going to be um, cleaning up the rest of the basement, getting rid of the things. I'm loving this new layout. I, and I, I love the colors. I just think it's very, uh, it's me. And I just think it's so relaxing and pretty. And I love the spring colors, so very happy with it with the changes I've done so um, I could put this back in the tripod but I'm worried I'm going to accidentally hang up on everybody <laughs> anyway once I get the rest of the basement you know everything up off the floor that I took out of here gotten rid of all the things that I am going to get rid of then I as things calm down then I'll make that decision about whether to put the um the other alec units with desktops right in the center for a, for a cute uh, island, craft island. Plus, I think what would be really great about that was it would l brighten up the whole room more than than even it is because right now, you know, these dark brown tables, they really make the room kind of dark. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, it is cheery. So I have actually, it's almost like a sanctuary now, where before it, it definitely is a place of creativity and I still am creating. Um, but now it's like I could just come and sit down and think, this is really relaxing. Grab my hot tea. <laughs> anyway, it's very enjoyable. So I'm very grateful for it. And I'm thankful that you all have been watching and, and following along. It's been, um, I, I can't, when did I start this? I have to look at that very first video and see when that was, when I actually announced that I was going to be doing that. Because how long has it been? Hi from Greece. My goodness. Hi. I hope you all are staying safe too. So we are staying safe. Um, I am high risk. I'm, not, I'm sorry. I play with my hair all the time. Uh, besides being 60, I just turned 60. So, but I have autoimmune problems and I catch everything. So uh, we're going, I am doing everything I can to be safe. We're very careful. I do go to the store now and then to get groceries, but um I'm very careful and I have the sanitizers, I have gloves, you know, everything I need. And when I bring this stuff home, anything that has to be refrigerated, I clean it, you know, food wise and everything that doesn't have to be refrigerated, I leave it in the car for a week. So, and if I really, really need it or want it, then I will bring it in, but I will sanitize it. So we're being very careful. Thanks. Thanks, Jimmy Lane. Jimmy Laney or Laney? Anyway, so... Uh, we are being careful. We're going for a walk every day. Hi. Hi, Jenny. So, yeah, I hope you all are staying safe. I mean, um, it is a hard time. We're living through an unusual time. Ikea has those curtains like hospitals. Oh, that's true. Oh, I didn't know they had those. That's interesting. The ones that roll over. 
Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. If that's a good, I, a good thing. Just yeah, choose to be happy. Thank you so much. And and I um I know I I've, I've been blessed to have this area. I know you know it's a lot. It's a lot. I have a big area here, and frankly, I I have most of the basement. I mean, I've got at least half the basement. So there's more, because I have my inventory, which you can't see. My inventory is in another corner back there, uh, for my shop. And I've got my digital cutting machines are back there, which I'm going to bring in here. Um, and I have my um, Sizzix Big Shot and all my die cutting is on another table back here. So, um, yeah, lots going on. A lot, a lot of stuff back here. Um, i trying to think what else I've got back there. My laminators back there. Uh, I ha anyway, I have, um, I have two big metal shelves that are full of like iris units of paper and so i don't think all of my decorative paper my decorative paper is probably not even going to make it into this area because i don't really have the room sorry for the shaking hi sylvia yeah <sighs> so anyway we're not going to be too long today i just want to say hi to everyone and give you the live update show you what's going on where i am now I'm really excited about the alex units and how they're coming along so um, my first experience putting anything big together with Ikea. It's going well. Um, that's why my eye is bothering me. It's going well. And um, yeah, really happy with how it's turning out. So I'm trying to stabilize the camera a little bit. Yeah, an 8 by 10 I mean, I, we, uh, I've often thought, like we have a living room. You have a living room too. We have a family room and a living room. And the living room is the room no one sits in. And so I thought several times, you know, through the years, maybe I should just take over that. But one of the problems is you got a, the windows on one wall, the fireplace is on another, and then uh, a huge, it's like a double wide. It's There's no door there, but if you put in like French doors or something, it is a double wide. And it would be so much work to an expense to put doors or something there so I could have quiet to be able to record and then I wouldn't have much wall space anyway, and it's not a very big area. So I thought, you know, I'm kind of spoiled. Even though this is an unfinished basement with a gross floor and concrete floor, I can get glitter on my floor and not worry about it. <laughs> do you do that when you have a big glitter spill on carpet or something, you know? So anyway, I could always put stuff in front of the fireplace in the living room, but I, I decided to go with what, what I'm doing here, so... Thanks everyone, and I'll be signing off now, and thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi, and, uh, and joining in our live with my craft redo.